Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how to remove tree sap from your car. And the golf behind me, I'll, I'll bring the camera in a second, it's absolutely plastered in it. Welcome back to the channel guys, so tree sap. We're gonna do this one on the fly, <laughs> moving the camera around, so forgive me on this, but have a look at this car here. I don't know if you can see this in the background. It is absolutely plastered in sap. We went away for a couple of weeks and left the car in a long stay car park under a tree, and it has got covered in this sticky um, layer of tree excrement, whatever it is. If I bring the camera down here a little bit, and bring it in. It's hard to pick this up on the camera, but you can see here, if you, if you were in the garage with me, it looks a hundred times worse um, in real life than it does on the camera. It is covered in sap. And because it's been left for a long time, all the dust um, builds into this sap and sticks to it. Then you get more sap on top of it. So it's like a sap sandwich. And there is tons of it on this car. So the important thing, how do we get this off of your car? Now we hear a lot of people suggesting when you get tree sap on your car, you should use tar and glue removers. So here I have three good ones that I like and use. AM tar, a built hamber cleanser fluid, you know, mineral spirit base, so it can, it can remove that tar and glue. And TARDIS, you know, a very powerful one. I've even got some pure IPA here. Now I'm just going to swing the camera back around and get you on a spot where some of this some of this muck is. So bear with me. Right now there's a little spot where you can see some of this stuff, okay? All right, let's just take the autofocus off. <coughs> so up first, AM tar. Now let's find a little spot there. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of this on. As you can see, that has hit the sap and it is doing absolutely nothing to it okay so that's am tar next one built hamber cleanser fluid another spot over here spray a good amount on there okay it's doing absolutely nothing to these to this product i'm kind of scraping it off there with my finger but it's not dissolving the sap, and if I just come over and find another little sp fresh spot, we'll say there. There's some fresh stuff here. Tardis, the most potent out of all of them. So where are we here? Yeah, let's spray that on there. And again, absolutely nothing. Right now I need to find another one. Let's come over here. Next thing we're going to try, pure isopropanol alcohol. So um, no, um, no water in here, just pure IPA. So this is a bit cowboy-esque, shouldn't really do this. I just got a bit on my finger. Can you see that? Where is it? So the IPA on there, it's doing, it's doing nothing, it has no effect on the tree sap. So what chemicals should you use to remove tree sap? So from that quick shots guys, all these tar and glue removers that I've used, these mineral spirit based ones and pure IPA have no effect on dissolving the tree sap that's on my car. So what chemicals should we use that is effective at dissolving them? And the answer to that is quite simply, cheap as chips, H to watch this all right let's get this zoomed back in and in focus all right can you see that yeah there we go all right so where's my hand there all right and there's the hose nozzle so i'm just going to put this hose on and it's hopefully on low pressure watch this oh some pressure would be nice Oh, 
So I'm leaving, I'm obviously leaving it going a little bit long there. And there we go. And that sap has basically gone, okay? And it was a thick layer of sap. So what is the, and let me just pull this back out again. I should never try and do these videos like this on the fly. This is ridiculous. So the point of this, guys, is actually the, the substance which dissolves most tree sap. Got to be careful here because there was one scenario I got where I couldn't clean it this way. But nine times, 99 times out of 100, this is the best way to clean um, tree sap off your car. And this is about as bad as it gets as well. Really bad, being left for a long time to harden and all that sort of stuff. How you should do it is primarily use water. So what I do is I just rinse the car at low pressure with water. So I'll just let that water sit on the car and then just rinse it off once more. Then after that, I'll go in and cover the car in Built Hamber Auto Wash, which is a pretty powerful, um, you know, pre-wash um, snow foam for your car. And it's very effective, but it's also gonna be carried in lots of water. Um, and then after that, so two pre-washes, then after that, I'll go in and do the contact phase. After those two pre-washes, there will be very little sign of the sap on the car, but there might still be some, but it's safe at that point to go in and do the contact wash or safer. What I don't want to do is just um, go and wash the car with contact before doing this because of all of the dust that is embedded into the sap. It will be like sandpaper. Um, and it will do quite a lot of damage. And I'm not too fussed about this car, but that would be just a stupid thing to do. So that is how I do it, guys. Let me know in, in this video, um, post your method for dealing with tree sap, if you use any dedicated products. Like I said, those products that I've tested on, they're tar and glue removers, and they, they're sort of mineral spirit based, and they don't work on tree sap. Um, but there are products out there that are tar and glue removers that say they do work on tree sap and I haven't tested any of those out. So if you've got a product that you know it's been formulated for sap and it's really effective, let me know. But it seems a bit extreme because um, as I've just demonstrated, you can get it off with, with just kind of normal washing methods and kind of the main solvent that's doing the work there is water. So I'm interested in your thoughts on that. Um, but that's all I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Quite a quick one, and that is how I sort out um, um, tree sap on my cars. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Where was I when you